I have a special guest tonight in my vlog. Are my babies? Look at them, my baby guppies. Oh, look at them, they're beautiful. Mmm, wow. <laughs> no, you're not the star of the show. Okay, so keep keep it there, okay? Just just swim. Yeah, come on. Okay, love my hat. My cowboy hat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to begin a new segment in my channel, and um, this is all about my heroes, my my inspirations, my divas in life, in my life so far. Um, I guess every girl has a hero, has a diva um, in their lives that inspired them while growing up. For me, um, having a hero, having a diva um, has an added dimension to it um, because of the fact that I am transgender and um, my divas um, sort of became my examples and in the way of how I should live my life as a woman. I will begin with uh, a diva that is very close to my heart, a wonder diva herself um, and her name is Nong Tum. Okay, um, I first uh, came across Nong Tum um, from a magazine article. It says there that Nong Tum is this boxer who likes to cross-dress while, um, uh, while uh, playing the sport. And the wonderful thing about Nong Tum is that when she was still a man, she was very good in the sport. In fact, she is one of the most recognizable faces of Thailand because she won many tournaments and um, she has a special way of fighting and so that's how I started to get you know um, interested in this in this lady boy as they call them in Thailand now I chose Nong Tum at that time and I have a special affinity with her because like me she comes from Southeast Asia and um, um, in Southeast Asia I do understand how people people's gender concepts are slightly different from that of the West and um, uh, for example um, um, in Asia historically and culturally um, transgender men and women have always been recognized as um, what they call the third gender and um, th this varies all throughout Southeast Asia in the Philippines uh, we were used to be um, uh, considered as shamans and um, they call us bayogs uh, a branch of the lady priest sect of the pre-Hispanic era and um, so we have a rightful place in history and these shamans they are considered to be magical and um, they are considered to be oracles because they are in the between worlds and they bridge the gap between what they call the masculine and the feminine and therefore since they embody both they must be connected to the gods themselves and in Thailand more or less it's also the same so they have the Katui uh, and uh, the lady boys as they call them so Nong Tum is the most famous lady boy uh, before and um, what I love about her was that whenever she goes to the ring <laughs> she she will have these um, of course she's very good with the Muay Thai skills the, that's Thai boxing skills but also she incorporates the traditional women's dances of Thailand into her into her regimen and so instead of just you know going in there performing the the rituals before starting the fight she would add to them the the religious dances traditional dances of the Thai women and so she will just you know just um just amaze the people at first she was grossly um 
um, misunderstood. She was grossly um, underestimated, just like many of us, as you know. But she kicks ass. That's what I love about her. And um, after she kicks the ass of her opponents, she will kiss them in the end and embrace them. And <laughs> it's just amazing. It's, at first, it stunned many of her opponents, and some of them even ridiculed her. But in the end, she was able to get their um, respect because she was just so good in Thai boxing. Uh, another thing that attracts me to this marvelous woman is that her name is Nong Thum. And in the Philippines, my nickname ever since I was young, I was young, was Nong also. So No Nong, Nong. Sometimes my family would that's that's their that's their nickname of endearment for me. And it's just you know, I was reading about her life. I discovered her name is Nong, and at that time when I was reading about her, she was still a man and has not transitioned yet. It's really beautiful when she transitioned little by little. So she was winning all these fights. And every win, every prize that she gets, she has only one goal in mind and that is to, you know, to, to be able to get her SRS. And you know, Thailand is like the SRS capital of the world. And so she was saving all this money. And you really, if you follow her history, you see her transformation little by little. So at first she was just, you know, your ordinary Muay Thai uh, uh, boxer. But then little by little she would don makeup. Just, uh, just imagine a Muay Thai, a very traditionally uh, masculine sport, is invaded by this, you know. And so all throughout the years after I discovered Nong Thum, I started to, you know, uh, have some clippings of long term articles from the different sources that I encounter, magazines, newspapers, everything about long term and I still have them back home. And I remember the last clipping that I I, I um um I cut from a magazine article about long term is that there was an issue about her, you know, uh, not uh, stripping uh, off her clothes because in Muay Thai, if you have to weigh, you know, so that they can gauge if you're a lightweight or a middleweight or whatever, um, you have to be naked, you know. And there was this 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 um, um, controversy because at that time, at that point, she was already donning her breast implants, and um, of course, you know, stripping would be a very very, you know, <laughs> a very serious matter for her, very sensitive. And yet, because of the Thai society's, um, you know, recognition of her as a man still at that time, she is bound by the rules or else she won't fight at all. But at that time, she was not yet, you know, she didn't, she hasn't reached her goals yet. And so, I don't know how she resolved this. I suppose she, she did, you know, um, compromise many things as well just like what you know in your lives ladies and so that's very normal for all of us compromises there I have to thank Nong Thum and I hope she she does come across this video because Nong Thum you are a marvelous marvelous soul and um, a precious precious um, um, uh, soul to me and um, we are kindred souls, and I just want to, um, I just want to tell you how much I love you, and how much you have inspired me in my life. So and um, that's all for my very first episode of Wonder Divas Nong Tum. You have to check her out, and actually, her life. Oh God. <laughs> I don't want to cry. Okay, and um, her life was actually um, uh, already immortalized in film. Uh, it's a Thai film called Beautiful, uh, Beautiful Boxer. So if you get the chance to, you know, to to get a copy, do so. It's a beautiful film, a very inspiring life indeed.